88. This is the three cabin model with a big forward stateroom and a big shower area and a nice salon and it has a twin aft cabins and a uh, U-shaped, uh, L-shaped um, galley uh, port side and behind the camera is a uh, navigation center which we'll see. We have a table that has leaves that fold up. This particular boat has the dark brown leather interior and like all the other Genos that uh, we have in the fleet there are uh, lockers all along the sides and storage underneath of all the berths and huge spaces in the bilge for Tupperware cases to put your things in. Lots of little cabinetry everywhere. Uh, floor lights, overhead lights, switches here to turn things on and off when you go into bed. And again, all LED. Uh, Handholds have uh, the leather package on them. Uh, everything that opens or in the boat has a screen and a shade, and anything that is a fixed port or window has a shade. Headroom, uh, I'm six foot two. It's uh, pretty decent, and uh, everything is all finished off nicely. There are handholds here on the ceiling. The settee is rather expansive and comfortable. The backrests are uh, leaned back just ever so slightly, very nice. And this is a folding table, and it has the ability to uh, become a cocktail table, and it lowers. Again, this storage is all here on the sides. Rather, than. this boat has the oak interior, and it has the dark walnut floors. You could also get it in teak, and you can get the floors in oak. Uh, the boat has the stereo system in it. There are individual lights underneath the uh, uh, sides here. Um, behind the cushions are uh, storage areas and also access to the bottom of the uh, chain plates or the, uh, uh, the, the stainless steel bars here. The galley is a traditional galley. It's a, an L shape with a very slight U. It has a large um, sailboat style ice box, um, which is a refrigerator of course. And there's a freezer on this side here with a shelf and a separate control. This is all Corian style top and there's storage behind rather deep up and down. There's a hood for the um, stove with the outside vent, a three burner propane stove and oven and that's gibbled and there's a shelf that goes over the top of it and that's uh, in its own storage area with storage behind. Again in the galley we have uh, storage, storage there's a little spice rack right here, which is kind of neat. There's an AC outlet. There's storage underneath with a drawer and access to a uh, vent. There's a deeper uh, locker right here for pots and pans. And underneath of me here, there's a cutlery drawer and additional pull-out storage. And this boat also has the access door underneath of the ice box uh, that opens up, which you can't see in the camera, but it allows you to get the different shelf systems inside the refrigerator. So for those that say, hey, I want an, uh, a front opening fridge, this actually is one with a top loader. So you open up the bottom and there are shelves like a standard fridge, but you can also open from the top. The freezer is just from the top. The chart table is a, a, a very nicely set up. It has an area that you can set your, uh, your right elbow on. Uh, plenty of room for a, a full-size computer keyboard or a laptop. Uh, this particular boat has the AC, uh, the, the DC system right here with additional monitoring. Lots of room up here for additional instrumentation. There happens to be VHF right there now. And in front of me, which is slightly out of camera view, is a large Ray Marine repeater. But you certainly could put a, a high definition monitor there, maybe even two. There's all kinds of little storage areas. Of course, storage underneath of the um, chart table itself. And there's a deep locker right here that has. That's quite deep, and you could probably put a library in there. And there's another storage locker behind me that has all the AC control panels, which is extensive with circuit breakers. There's storage underneath here. We, have, of course, have the handhold. We have a navigation light. We have a hold here. We have shades for the windows. It's a, it's a rather comfortable place to be. The F cabins have a double berth, and these slide together, but they could also be singles. It has a lot of storage on the side. Large ventilation hatches here. Lots of natural light. Lots of LED light. It has air conditioning controls. Storage underneath the floor. Storage underneath the berths. It has a locker here, a locker on top, and that's engine access there. Inside the aft head is what you might expect, a vanity, access to the holding tank, the head itself, 
and this is an in-suite in shower here. Coming into the starboard aft cabin, it's a mirror image of the port side cabin with a double berth that slides together. Good ventilation, good visibility, this one has the shade drawn. Shelves on the side, access underneath the cabinet, cabinet, engine access, and the same head as before with an in-sheet sweet shower stall. The forward cabin is the master suite. Center line berth, access to the sides, lots of lockers up and down, reading lamps, overhead lights, side windows, dressing area, a little stool that pulls out, a very large locker. It's the largest locker uh, so far we've seen in uh, about under 64 feet. The forward head is rather large and has cabinetry underneath. Has a shepherd sour stall, cabinetry, the shower stall has its own set of doors and it's rather large. The 58 has nice clean decks, high stanchions, double lines, recessed stainless steel hand rails, everything's bled aft to the cockpit, inboard shrouds. A teak deck that's glued on and not screwed, Lumar hatches, Lumar windlass, an anchor pulpit that can take the delta you see here or a rock nest style anchor. Teak combings, this is the captain's cabin. It's got an up-down berth and a separate head that has an in-suite shower and sink. And it has its own ventilation. You can have heat and air conditioning brought to that cabin. Overall, very clean layout, lots of overhead hatches and light, and a flush look. The 58 has several innovative designs, including a garage for your dinghy, scuba gear, and even a scuba compressor that could be stored in a locker to the port side. The cockpit is large with a big double leaf table, and details such as inset windows, clean stainless steel hardware easy instrumentation installs in the cockpit, and electric reversing winches. All make the Genoa 58 a powerful and impressive sailing yacht.